the children will go upstairs and grade in the projects. I'm going to have a prepare for an interview, how to interview someone, and how to edit audio. Today, you hear my new article where I interview my Molly Williams. Enjoy. This is, this is, this is Media Lab. 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 This is Media Lab. Hello, my name is Alex. I'm a youth reporter at New England Public Media. As the world adapts and changes, journalism is also changing with it. Nervani Williams, a New England Public Media journalist, gave insight on how perceived journalists has changed. She is assigned to produce radio news stories about socioeconomic disparities in Western Mass. Individuals experiencing socioeconomic disparity are those who have low income versus high income and experience different levels of access to resources and opportunities. As a journalist, Williams shares her view on journalism in the present and why being a reporter is such an interesting career. As with many careers, working in a newsroom, we need to change while the world changes, because if they don't, they won't have jobs. Mm -hmm. The onions they have now is not the same they had five years ago. Um, I, I did a lot of visual work. So I use DSLR cameras um, to capture videos and uh, take a lot of photos. Um, so now I'm working as an audio reporter and I use the Tascam. I have a bigger one with a mic and I have headphones um, and then I pretty much take pictures just on my iPhone and not a DSLR. That's cool. Her job changes as fast as technology does. Years ago, some journalists would have needed to buy an expensive camera, but now Cell phones can capture high quality audio and video without needing to spend a lot of money. Mobile devices proved helpful during the pandemic. When everyone, was, when everyone was challenged to use technology in their daily lives, journalists were forced to learn how to conduct virtual interviews. Nirvani was used to going out and talking with people in person, but when COVID happened, she had to interview people online. This was a big change for journalism because they had to come up with new ways to do their job. When running into a creative roadblock, Williams said, Three part series on that, and at the end I was just burnt out. I was like, I don't even know what words are. I don't, I can't write anything. And then I was thinking like, oh, maybe I can use chat GPT to like think of some titles um, uh, for like maybe what to call the housing series. Um, we didn't end up going with any of them, but they were fun. Instead of taking a break from writing, Nirvani turned to AI to brainstorm. Even though she didn't use any of the headlines, embracing new technology helped her out in her work. Yes. <laughs> I think it is. It can be hard to adapt to technology changing constantly. Because, where I mean, even in that example, whereas I would, I mean, before COVID, I would have seen this woman in person and interviewed her in person but um during the pandemic you know everything really changed to being online williams is just one of many journalists that have to adapt with the new world to keep their job the world is adapting and changing and journalism is also changing with it